Hello everyone! In today's video, I'm going to show you a My Case tutorial for beginners. Now this video will have everything you need to know about My Case and how it functions as supposedly the best legal case management software. So without further ado, let's dive right into their website. So here we have the My Case website and you can access this by typing in mycase.com on your browser and you should be able to see this landing page. Now from here, you can already log in if you already have an account or request for a demo. So right here, you can schedule a demo for, from my case. This is a personalized 30 minute demonstration via video call with a my case product specialist. So just fill in your details and then wait for my case to get in touch with you for that personalized demo. Now, if you want to jump right into their free trial account, you can do so by clicking on try my case free, just enter your email address and there's no credit card required for this trial. However, the trial only lasts for a few days, I believe. So you're going to have to eventually subscribe to a plan if you wish to continue using my case. So once you've signed up for an account, just follow the prompts and uh, my case is going to ask you for a bunch of details like uh, configuring your firm's information. This includes address, billing preferences, logo for branded communications, as well as the nature of your firm. So just uh, be ready to fill in those details if you're going to sign up for an account on my case. So after that, you should be able to see this page or this dashboard right here. But of course, before we continue on the dashboard, then uh, my case suggests that you add a new contact first. So start creating your case by adding a new contact, a new or existing contact. All cases need at least one client to bill. So you can either add a new contact right here and fill in these details. So the name, email, people group, whether it's client, co-counsel, expert, judge, or unassigned, or you can also add new group or new people group. And you can also enable client portal. This uh, securely shares documents, invoices, and messages with your client, and they will receive a welcome email with login instructions. Your client will only have access to items that you explicitly share. And then, of course, they're going to need their phone or cell phone number, work phone, home phone, address, second address line, the city, country, time zone, and if you want to add more information, you can do so right here. And there's also some custom fields. So if uh, you have more information you wish to add, you can create custom fields for contacts by heading to settings and clicking custom fields. All right, so that's for adding a new contact. But uh, if you already have existing an existing contact list and the contact is already there or a specific company, then you can do so right here. So we're going to try to do this sample client, which is John Doe. I believe this comes with the trial account. So we're just going to continue to the case details. And then here we can continue with the case name. So here you have a sample name, uh, for example, John Smith, and then the case is about divorce. So maybe we're going to go along with that suggestion just to show how uh, the process works for adding a case as well as contact. And then case number. So let's say 1112 and then practice area. You can also add new practice area if uh, the category does not fit in any of these. Let's say right here, divorce, separation, and then case stage, whether it's uh, under discovery in trial or on hold. So let's set it to discovery and date open will be January 11. So that's today or at least the date of this video. So we're going to do that. And then office primary description. I'm just going to put in sample description right here just to fill in the blanks. And then you can set statute of limitations. Say 31. And then you can add reminders. So SOL reminders right here. Add a reminder if you want. And conflict check, if there's any conflicts, conflict check notes. And again, if you have any custom fields added in your settings, then you can include them right here. 
All right, so that goes for our our case details. We're going to move on to billing. So billing contact, John Doe. And then we can set it either to hourly, contingency, flat fee, mix of flat fee, and hourly, or pro bono. So we're going to try to go with pro bono for this case. And then uh, staff. So lead attorney, select a lead attorney for this case. And then originating attorney as well. So who from your firm should have access to this case? So this is about setting permissions right now. So uh, since we have a lead attorney and originating attorney as the same person, then we can just set it to the same person for uh, having access to this case. So here you have the default rate and the case rate. So we're going to go with default rate. And then since it's a pro bono, then of course it's for free. So just hit save and finish. All right. So now we've created our first case. So you can uh, try any of the following to do next. So you can either start tracking time you spend on this case just to calculate your uh, rate. Create an invoice with unbilled items. Upload, organize, and create documents for this case. Or you can also create a meeting, reminder, or important event. Otherwise, you can just uh, close this and feel free to uh, mingle or rather explore your dashboard to get a feel of my case. So our uh, case is right here under cases and then case details. You have the John Smith divorce and the details of the case. So you can also close the case right here. You can edit it further if necessary. Now let's try to head back to our home dashboard. Show you how it looks like. So here, uh, welcome to my case. You can uh, get a personalized demo from here as well. You can invite firm members. You can add a new case again and guided implementation. So quickly get your firm set up with guided data migration and training from our implementation team. So if you need help with those things, then feel free to check this out. You can also get free support. And here you have a bunch of uh, quick buttons to add whatever you need. So for example, if you need to add an event, a document, a task, a lead, contact, case, message, time entry, expense, invoice, and note, you have access to, uh, to all of them right here from the main dashboard. And you, you also have your timesheet right here. You also have the start timer right over here. And there's also a quick button for adding items in this section. So you have more to choose from right here for quick actions. So you have under billing, you can add time entry, expense, invoice, request funds, record payment, firm management. You can add a case, document, event, task, note, contacts, company or contact, and then lead. And then for communication, new message and add call. So there's a, a lot of things you can do already just from checking the main dashboard. Allows for easy access and makes things quicker for your tasks. So you have a bunch of uh, overview here, graphs to check for today's events, financial overview, open cases, leads over time, new communications, alerts, and some integrations right here. You can see some common names as well as recent activity. So again, feel free to explore this to get used and accustomed to the feel of my case as a legal management or legal case management software. And that's it for today. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.